To make your house really sparkle for the holidays and make everything picture perfect, you've got your regular cleaning and then you've got the cleaning you need to do to care for those specialty items that you only pull out for special occasions, AKA the holidays. I'm talking the linens, the china, the beautiful service pieces, crystal, you get the idea. And because we use these items so infrequently, it's easy to forget how to care for them properly. So that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video, a full spectrum on how to clean all of those fancy schmancy delicate items using your hands, your washing machine, or your dishwasher. And to celebrate the holidays, I partnered up with LG Canada to bring you this video. Let's start off with table linens. I'm talking napkins, table runners, and tablecloths. If you have those super delicate family heirloom lacy pieces, you know, doilies and whatnot, that you're not comfortable putting in the washing machine, here's how I want you to deal with them. Any stain that you identify, you can spritz a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on there first. Now you might wanna test this in a hidden space first just to make sure that it doesn't greatly alter the color of the rest of the piece. You can let that sit for about 30 minutes and then you can make up a basin of cool water with a little bit of gentle detergent in there. You can kind of soak the piece for about 30 minutes and then you can rinse and hang to dry. If you have an LG Styler steam closet, this would be a perfect opportunity to use that. You can place these items into the steam closet and allow it to gently dry. So it'll come out looking beautiful and wrinkle free without the worry of using heat. For more durable linens like these, the first thing you'll wanna do again is pre-treat those stains. You can use hydrogen peroxide if it's a light color. And if you're feeling a little bit nervous about hydrogen peroxide on a darker color, feel free to grab an enzyme-based stain remover. You can pre-treat and then you can pop them into your washer. So I'm putting mine into my LG AI front load washer. And once that cycle is done, I'm gonna be putting it into my LG AI dryer and I'm going to be using the steam function. Reason being is because this is gonna help blast out any wrinkles so I don't have to iron. But the key here is to listen for that song when the dryer is done and run, drop whatever you're doing, run to the dryer, pull out the tablecloth and immediately lay it on the table. That's the trick. So you've got your tablecloth, your table runner, everything laid out, and now it's time to set the table. When you're pulling out your holiday dishes, if you notice that there's a layer of dust, cause the holidays do come once a year, you might just wanna grab a microfiber cloth and give them a quick dust down. They might not need anything more than that. When you're done eating and clearing dishes, one habit I have that I really caution anyone who's using fancy china to avoid is to use a fork to scrape your dishes clean. Rather, you want to use a rubber spatula. That's going to protect your fancy stuff from scratching. And if you have any hand painted features or gold or silver, you have to be especially careful with that. For cleaning your dishes, you wanna check on the back to see if there are any wash instructions. A lot of china is machine washable, as are your regular holiday dishes, but you'll always want to hand wash if you have any of this gold or silver paint on it. This is not the time to overstuff or play dishwasher Tetris. You really need to give everything the opportunity to just stand safely and clearly by itself so that you don't get any knocking, scratching, or chipping. For my fancier items, I use the Delicate Cycle on my dishwasher. This is the LG Quad Wash Pro dishwasher. And what that does is it optimizes the wash without doing anything too, too harsh for delicate dishes like china. Now something that doesn't go in the dishwasher and only gets hand washed is crystal and that's because it can get cloudy and scratched when it goes in the dishwasher and is exposed to heat and dishwasher detergent. So just be careful with it, hand wash it and dry it accordingly. Glasses and silverware are really the sparklers. They finish the table and make it look gorgeous. So if they're dull or dusty, they're not gonna look great. Let's start off with cleaning glassware. So glassware that's dishwasher safe, there are some considerations that you wanna to take to heart. First and foremost, you wanna make sure that you're not overloading your dishwasher rack with glassware. If there's any knocking or banging, it can lead to scratching or of course, breakage, which really sucks if that happens in the dishwasher. Next, if you have an adjustable rack, you wanna make sure that you're adjusting it to the proper rack height so that you're not 
hitting anything on the way in and so that your spinner has the ability to spin and shoot water out as needed. When you're loading up your glasses, you always wanna make sure that they are in the downward position and you can adjust the tines on your dishwasher, hopefully, to accommodate these glasses. When this is done, I'm gonna run through the glassware cycle on my LG dishwasher. This one has true steam technology and dynamic heat dry, which means by the time this load is finished, they come out absolutely dry and with no water spots. It's amazing. Another little tip I wanna give you if you notice glassware on any of your cups or wine glasses, just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cloth or paper towel and quickly remove that lipstick. It's the easiest way to get rid of it in a pinch. When it comes to setting up the table, you wanna consider the pieces of silverware that you've removed from storage that might look a little less than gorgeous. <laughs> so what you would wanna do in this case is to pick up an appropriate metal cleaner for the type of material that you're dealing with, which will often be imprinted right there on the piece so you know exactly what it is that you need. I'm gonna use a bit of a silver polish on this and you'll see it polishes up beautifully. Now remember, these do not go in the dishwasher. The dishwasher can actually degrade silver, same thing goes with gold, gold plated. So you just wanna be really careful about what you're putting in the dishwasher versus what you're hand washing. A lot of the times, just a gentle, hot, soapy water is the perfect way to clean those service pieces and utensils that are made with those delicate metals. But if you're dealing with, let's say, stainless steel, your regular everyday cutlery, you just wanna shine it up for the holidays. You can also use a powdered cleanser just to get rid of any of those, you know, rust spots on there, which is something that I like to do once or twice a year just to really make my cutlery dazzle. Of course, there are plenty of pieces that are dishwasher safe. We love that journey for ourselves. And I'm just gonna settle the score right now. If you have a cutlery basket or a silverware basket, what you wanna do is put all of your cutlery face up with the exception of knives, which go face down. It's a safety hazard. I've settled the argument for you. There you go. Now in this dishwasher, I actually have a third rack, that little skinny top rack, where you can lay all of your cutlery flat and I love it. And what's great about it, if you have one, is that it frees up so much space on the lower rack. So if you have one and you're a bit apprehensive, I really recommend that you give your top rack a try for cutlery. Next up, holiday decor. Whether it's a nutcracker, nativity scene, string lights, Christmas tree, table decor, vases, candle holders, and menorahs, even wood serving pieces, my gosh. There is a lot that we roll out to entertain and brighten our space up. And there are some inherent cleaning challenges, namely dust in teeny tiny crevices, finishes that we're not necessarily used to cleaning, and of course, wax. So let's cover how to clean all of those. For vases or tablescape pieces that are made from glass or ceramic, there is a chance that they are machine washable. So just look on the bottom and see if there's any care information. You can also check on the manufacturer's website to learn the best way to clean it. Now, if you can put it in the dishwasher, you're gonna load it up carefully. You're gonna use a gentle or a delicate cycle and you're gonna run it through. When you remove it, make sure that you dry it well to remove water spots. If you can't find any information or you are told not to put it in the machine, the best thing to do, of course, is to hand wash using hot, soapy water. So here's what I recommend. Glove up, fill up a sink, get a little bit of dish soap in there, some hot water, and a bottle brush. This is gonna be the most convenient way to get into all those little nooks and crannies, rinse well, and allow the item to dry. Wood decor for the holidays comes in many different shapes and sizes. The two I see most often are decorations made out of wood, like the bottom of this Christmas tree, and charcuterie boards or serving boards like the one here. So a couple of different ways that you can treat them. If it's a small and intricate piece, I've also seen like little Christmas trees made out of wood shingles. The easiest way to clean that is just by using a paintbrush. You can also use a vacuum with a little brush attachment. That way you can dust getting into all of those little crevices without worrying about a microfiber cloth or a duster catching on any of the wood. Now, if it's a board, what you can do is wipe it with soapy water, make sure that it's completely dry. And then what I like to do is oil my boards with a beeswax based or a hemp seed based oil. And this is easy to do. You're just gonna apply it in an even layer with paper towel, let it dry overnight, and then your board the next morning will be shiny and gorgeous and ready for service. 
Now for candle holders or menorahs that are waxy, the easiest thing to do is to pop them into the freezer overnight. This is gonna help solidify and harden that wax and make it easier to remove. So what I do once this comes out of the freezer is I get like a really skinny screwdriver to get the little pieces of candle out of the candle holder itself. And then for the splashes of wax that have fallen on the bottom, I'll use like the back of an old credit card or something just to scrape up as much of that wax as I can. And usually most of it comes off. But then to finish the job, we're going from cold to hot. You're gonna run hot water in your sink. You can even boil up some water. And then you're gonna pour the hot water over top the menorah. This is gonna help melt away any of that excess wax. Now, if there's still quite a bit, you might wanna line the bottom of your sink with tin foil. That way you're not getting wax down your drain. There's a little tip for you. And once that's done, you're gonna scrub using hot soapy water just to finish the job. Rinse it and allow it to dry. It's gonna look gorgeous. There's so much to do during the holidays and adding hosting duties can just feel like that extra added layer of pressure and overwhelm. But my hope is that this video made you feel empowered to make sure that your house looks absolutely beautiful, get it nice and clean, take care of all those little specialty items in the least amount of time, and of course, getting the very best results. And that brings me to this week's comment question. And because I'm sitting here at a table with some holiday treats, I would love to know in the comments down below what is your favorite holiday treat? What is the thing that you look forward to more than anything during that time? Is it a giant panettone? Is it a gingerbread, a latka, a scone, a cookie, a truffle, something that your grandmother makes? What makes you feel that holiday vibe as soon as you put it in your mouth? Let me know in the comments down below. A special thanks to LG Canada for supplying me with all of these beautiful and innovative appliances and for helping me get into the holiday zone. To learn more about these appliances and to get information about purchase, you can visit lg.ca. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.